Welcome to the Physics Department's Distance Lab for the Ideal Gas. Uh, we are following the uh, online uh, manual almost precisely. Um, there are very minor differences. You can use the uh, instructions in the lab uh, to write your report and you can use the data sheet as a model uh, for your tables in your report. Uh, you can also answer the uh, uh, post-lab questions from the data sheet. So in front of you is the equipment. There are two procedures. Essentially, uh, there is a procedure one is Boyle's Law. I have trapped 45 cc's of air in this syringe. I have it connected to a sensor and that sensor is set to uh, read the app pressure inside in kilopascals and the temperature in uh, degrees centigrade. You, know, you have to remember that if you're doing any calculations, uh, you have to make sure that you're using Kelvin and Pascals. Stick to SI units or your calculations will come out oddly. For this lab, I've got it set up as follows. I will press preview and I'll get a temperature. Temperature is incorrect. It takes a little time to settle down. We can ignore that for now. Uh, what happens is I'll wait for it to settle down and, and I'll say keep sample and it'll start filling out the table. Then I will go to 43 by squeezing my little camp here. Oh, a little fast. You saw the temperature jump. This is the difficulty with this syringe uh, is if you press it too fast, the temperature surges and Boyle's Law has to be done at constant temperature. So now we should wait until the temperature settles back down. I'm not patient enough to do that. You'll see in the file with the actual data that I managed to do it at 23.75 degrees centigrade, almost exclusively by being just a little more careful here. I will set that and then I will slowly increase it to the next setting. I'm going by two cc's at a time. There we go, 41 cc's, and I'll keep that sample. There you go, we're down to the proper temperature now. And I continue like that until I collect enough data to make me happy. And keep sample. And you'll see that the graph is building as I go. The temperature pressure is going up, the temperature I'm supposed to be keeping uh, stable and I do so in the actual data and then you can compare the volume and the pressure. I'm plotting it here but there's a limited number of things you can do with the plot here in uh, Capstone. You'll go to file and uh, export data and export it as a common delimited file and to Excel and then in Excel you can plot it there and you can do more interesting things with the fits, the equation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The uh, manual actually tells you to use Excel. I've done that just a little bit differently just to show that I can. And that's this one. The second procedure is Guy-Lussac. We're going to keep the volume stable. by trapping a certain m amount of air within this uh, ball. I'm going to actually do it right now. I'm going to switch from my syringe. Excuse my back. And I'm going to connect this. 
this is now at room temperature and when I connect this and this I'm now reading the temperature of that ball and we've trapped a certain volume of air inside of that how much that volume of air is you can read the, the online manual and get the size of this and calculate the volume of air and now I'm going to drop this into the hot water until it's submerged but not touching the bottom that is touching the bottom there we go submerged but not touching the bottom it's now going to take a time I'll turn this off because now I want it to cool and I'll press record and you can see way over here I've got a temperature I've got a pressure and it's only going to change very slowly probably too slowly to make me happy I'll uh, I'll run down to the kitchen and grab a bucket of ice and start slipping ice cubes into it I intend to let that run until the water gets uh, well, quite cold uh, maybe zero depends how patient I am and once again, you'll transfer this data, uh, export it out of Capstone, open it up in um, Excel, and follow the analysis instructions in the manual. And that's it for this lab. Uh, this will be your last lab, in fact. So uh, I hope you had a good time. Bye.